don't think I can do it? I didn't say that. You don't think I can do it? No, I just don't want you to. You don't think I can name all 71 Smash Brothers in order of their introduction? Please, no. Number one. Uh. Pikachu. Wait, that's not right. Put your hands up! Oh no! A mugger! We're gonna get mugged! Oh, what are the chances? Help! Ah! I'm sorry, my friend gets stupid when he's nervous. How can we help you? Empty your wallets! Oh, this always happens to me! Like back when I was in school, and bullies used to always take my lunch. Jokes on them though, I saw them come in and crush pills in the food to make their pee turn pink. Ha! Give me your money! Okay! How much do you want? Are you stalling? Stalling? I don't know the meaning of the word. Ali, could you look up the meaning of the word stalling? Take your time. That's stalling! Sir, I don't interrupt you when you're in the middle of something. Jab, give the nice man his money. <laughs> I'm trying. But I can't find my hands! <laughs> They're on the ends of your arms! <laughs> oh, you were right. I know! Not about that. About stalling. I was. Why? Because of him. <laughs> yes! I knew he'd show up here! What's going on? I went to my happy place. Jab? Jab, stop talking to strangers. You're making things worse. Jab, shh, jab, shh, jab, shh, shh, come on. Stop it. My Sharona. Cut it out. Surely sheep as shepherds shouldn't shear sheep. Shh. Jab. Were you walking us through bad neighbourhoods all day on purpose? Kind of. What is wrong with you? This was my chance to find Donkey Kong. He's the most reclusive of all the Smash Brothers. It's been years since anyone's seen him. But I knew he wouldn't be able to stop himself from helping those in need. So I put us in a dangerous situation near where I guessed he'd be. You were using me as bait? Hey, I was bait too. Now, if you'll excuse me, my audience is waiting. What? Hello! Do not be alarmed. For I am but a simple punching man who has come seeking guidance, to be taught in your peaceful ways of beating people up. In return, I am willing to do odd jobs around your village and contribute to your society. You may not think me worthy, but what I lack in body hair, I make up for with friendship. Even though most of the things out here will kill you, but don't worry, if I was going to be killed, it would have happened a long time ago. I'm very Any questions? What's my name? Glad you asked. I am the strongest Smash Brother of the future, sworn to knock out all my opponents and strengthen my allies. Forever I walk the road of good intentions, a road with a street sign named after me, and my name is Jack Punch! I don't think they like that. Well, how would you react if someone yelled their name in your face? Look, they're running away. They were already doing that. No, before they were panicking. Now, they're retreating. They must be going to their village. Ali, I have to follow them. I might be gone for some time. We may never see each other again. Goodbye. You don't want to say anything else? Like how much you'll miss me? You better go, you're going to lose them. Okay, this is why you're my best friend, Ali. I'm going to miss you. Jab, promise me one thing. Anything. I know nobody else in the jungle will be doing this, but always wear pants. I can't make any promises. You just said- I've got to go, bye. Dear Ali, it's Jab, writing to you from the village of the Kongs. The trek to get there took a full day. In hopes that they would accept me, I picked the most beautiful flower I could find. In retrospect, I should have checked the thorns first, but on the bright side, I've always wanted a piercing in my hand. Dear Ali, the Kongs have accepted me with indifferent arms. To make me feel at home, they gave me an odd gift. I've never seen anything like it, so I decided to call it a coconut. I drew a face on it and named it Coco. The Kongs don't understand me, so I don't have anyone to talk to, except Coco. And Coco talks to me sometimes. I know, so weird. From Jab and Co. Get it? Dear Ali, I didn't get any sleep last night because of a thunderstorm. I don't know what was worse, the sound of the lightning or the Kongs trying to be loud about it. Coco is terrified. I feel like I'm going crazy. But as long as I can write to you every day, I know I'll stay sane. Dear Ali. From Jab. Well, we all saw that coming. <laughs> Suit, transfer power to translator. How did you find us?
Our village is a secret to the outside world. Trust me, if Jab can find you, you need to do a better job hiding it. Plus, I put a tracking device on Jab. How on earth did you manage that? Hey Jab, do you want a tracking chip? Ooh, I love chips! Hmm, it's very bitter. Almost deadly. Almost. I'm living on the edge! Anyway, my name is Allison. I'm here to pick up Jab from your daycare. Can you get him here? We cannot get him to do anything. He is a beast, a savage. He destroys everything he touches. I've thought that before too, but he's not that bad. We were once a peaceful people. That was before Jab Punch appeared. He was not mentally prepared for jungle life, so he's resorted to using his primordial instincts out of fear. He has since dominated all of us in combat. So much hair pulling. He cannot leave. He must suffer the consequences. What are you going to do? We will set him out to sea for 90 days and let the ocean decide his fate. You can't do that. It's what we did to Fung Kikong. What the? Where is everyone? I don't know or care who Funky Kong is. Isolation is what drove Jab crazy in the first place. Do you want an even crazier Jab? Perhaps we will not come back for him then. I have a better idea. We just need to restart his brain. So let's just give him a big old knock on the head. If that doesn't work, we'll keep hitting him until it does. The last human we trusted will be remembered as one of our greatest threats. Tell me, Ali Asun, why should I trust you? I'm not like other humans. I'm not an idiot. Follow me. Get up, donkey! I am so sorry. If you call me a donkey again, I will- Translator off! <laughs> you can keep yelling. When you calm down, we'll go rescue Jab. <laughs> we have to outsmart a Neanderthal. That can't be too hard. I'm going to talk to Jab. Just follow my lead. You can't call him Jab. You need to refer to him by his new name, or he'll go into a frenzy. What's that? He calls himself one of us. But he wants us to know he is superior. His new name is King Kong. I'm not calling him that. You must, or he will play bongos with both our heads. I hate everyone. King Kong! Oh. We are grateful to be in your presence. As a thank you, here is a gift. This gorilla, who you are free to hit. What? <gasps> we can't take him while his defenses are up. We need to lull him into a sense of calm. This is how we do that. You continue to surprise me, Ali Asun. You have the mind of a genius and the heart of a saint. I will follow your orders. Maybe one day, our two people will live in harmony. <gasps> All hail King Kong, for he is as strong as an oak tree and twice as sticky. Here, eat this meal to keep your strength up. Um, thank you. Ali. What did you say? Ali, best friend. What am I doing? There has to be a better way than this. Jab is still in there. I can't hurt him. Jab, did you eat it all already? Fine. We'll talk later. Hey? Ah, uh, my head. It's a miracle it didn't fall off. What was in that food? Hot peppers, sriracha, a couple of D51 hand grenades, but that's not important. Do you remember your name? Oh, I think I do. I am the strongest- Yep, he's back. I wasn't done yet. You've done enough. Thank you for your help, Mr. Kong. Yeah, thanks, dude. Sorry about all the mess. I went a bit crazy there. <laughs> Whoa, I went a bit crazy there. Do you need help cleaning up? No, uh, I mean, there's- not a lot of work to do. We can handle it. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me learn your moves. Ali, do you think I can try some of them out before we head home? I want to commit some to muscle memory. Sure thing, monkey boy. Hooray! You're letting him back into civilization? Haven't we both learned how dangerous he is? He is only dangerous in the wrong hands. Back home, he'll cause chaos, but it'll be manageable. When I look at Jab Punch, I see fire. All fire rages and it burns anything it touches. Left unchecked, it can turn worlds to ash. But used properly, it can cook food, and without it, harmful bacteria would ail many of us. Jab Punch is neither evil nor good, but he is powerful. He is a force of nature. All he needs is direction. Perhaps that direction is you, Alison. Perhaps it is.
I'm having one of the most intelligent conversations of my life with an ape. And I am honoured. We should head home now. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone where your village is. Thank you. You have a home here with us, Ali Hassan. But if you're ever in the neighbourhood, please do not come see us again. I definitely won't. <laughs> <laughs>